I didn't see there. Hi, I'm Haley. I run cover to cover. Somewhere in this video, I'll be asking you a question. Answer the question for a chance to win the prize. But first, we're going to be talking about news on social media and how to spot fake news. <laughs> A good idea is to use sources that you're already familiar with and that you've used so then you know that what they write is true. Some of the ones that I love to use are ones that end in .edu or .gov because those are government or educational ran websites so those will always be true facts. Another good point to keep in mind is has this source been reliable in the past because if they've put out bogus stories and bogus headlines then they aren't that reliable and you shouldn't use those ones. Make sure that you read the whole story instead of the headline because sometimes headlines are completely different than what the story is or they're really stretching the truth. So make sure you're reading the whole story so you know exactly what happened. Make sure the author who wrote that is an actual person and actually who they say they are because anybody can say that they're a doctor when they're actually not a doctor and never went to med school. So make sure that they are actually who they say they are. Make sure the source has real facts instead of just somebody's opinion about a topic. Many times false stories will cite official sounding sources but the source doesn't even back up the claim. If you're not sure that the story you're reading is true, you can also use a fact checker. There's factcheck.org, snopes.com, the Washington Post fact checker, or politifact.com. These are just a few and many that are out there and that are reliable that you can use to make sure what you're reading is facts. The question for this video is what is your favorite social media app or site? It could be Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, or any other that's your favorite.